Dr Heather Cleland is a renowned plastic surgeon and head of the burns unit here at the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne. This is the Burns Unit, it's a statewide service for Victoria and we admit virtually all of the patients who are burnt in Victoria who sustain a severe burn. We also see a lot of people with less severe burns for various treatments but you know the key reason for our existence is these people with the, the most severe injuries. One of those patients is 59-year-old Philip, who was admitted to the hospital four days ago after throwing accelerant on a fire. So there was a question about whether um, Philip had had an inhalation injury where you inhale so hot flames and... Into your face. Yeah. And um, if that happens, sometimes your airway can swell some hours after the event just okay. with the response. So, yeah. so there was some burning in my nose, but it didn't go down my airway. So he, yeah. You're mighty lucky there's no damage to those airways. That's, um... I'm very lucky. Yep. Yeah. I'm very lucky. Philip's got a long road ahead of him. He'll spend the next part of his recovery here in the treatment area, where all the rooms are individually heated. Because uh, your temperature regulation is shot when you have an extensive burn, as you can imagine, and that's really to stop their body temperature dropping precipitously when they have those extensive procedures and when they're in the bath. The bath is a crucial step in the treatment process. This is the bathroom. OK. The traditional treatment for burns patients, really, for, for many years since the Second World War, was to regularly bath them, um, you know, day after day, week after week, until all of the burnt tissue sort of floated off in the bath. And then you had sort of raw areas that then were skin grafted. Modern burn treatment, um, we still use these baths, but we don't use them as a debridement mechanism. We operate early, we actively cover the wounds with various bioengineered skin substitutes or else skin graft them straight away. And then once the grafts are taken and their donor sites are healing, we get them in the shower or the bath and just help to clean everything up. So if we're not using these baths in the initial treatment, what's the process? Well, the, the initial uh, wound management depends very much on how deep the burn is. Um, sometimes if, if a patient's got a very extensive superficial burn, we'll take them to the operating theatre and uh, give them a good scrub. Yep. And then we would put a temporary skin substitute on that will replace that very superficial barrier layer of the skin that's lost. Okay. And then the wound will heal up underneath and that superficial nylon silicon skin engineered product will lift off and the wound will be healed underneath.